back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. Uh, we have quite a bit to discuss in on today's video. We will uh, discuss a couple of forex pairs that include uh, Euro and British Pound, and we'll uh, also look at DXY, which is dollar index. And after that, we'll look at gold and silver, and we might add some of the miners as well gold and silver miners as well so we look at gdx or gdxj let's see how much we can get in a small um, interval the most uh, first i'll come back to the gold chart we'll discuss it later but let's have a look uh, at the um, we can look at uh, euro first okay let's have a look euro see how the euro is doing just give me a minute let's go back to daily chart and we have a very interesting let me delete that and let me delete that so what we are looking right now is that the pattern is yet not complete that started the, from the top we are very close to the completion of that um, the wave B of the pattern. So I'm right now from the bottom we can easily see a five wave structure which is labeled rightly. So what we're doing right now is that we are going to the correction. First leg of the correction is complete. Second leg of uh, correction is going on and we are going to comment on it. It's very close to the completion. And as soon as that is, com is complete, uh, we are expecting the prices to come down and create a double bottom with this one right over here. That should complete the structure. But we have quite a bit time to complete the structure. Let's have a look at the top and what's expected to happen on a um, hourly time frame. Okay. So, uh, first of all, I think that we have seen the correction right over here. We are going to see uh, the price is moving ahead right at the top. 1.135 is expected in the next few days. We are expecting that uh, we might see some sort of correction on a smaller time frame. Um, but the larger target is right over here and we can use this as a corrective pattern. So, we have a an impulsive wave and a correction and we have a previous correction as well which is like a b and c so impulsive wave correction impulsive wave correction and now right now we're looking for an impulsive wave so um, we can use this to get a confirmation that we have completed the correction so price definitely needs to come out of the channel to confirm that we have seen the bottom but i'm expecting that we once we have seen a smaller correction we're expecting the price to all to go back at 1.35 and that point the larger uh, wave b that we discussed earlier that should be complete and after that we will expect the prices to be on the bearish side so let me go back on a daily time frame maybe i missed something so this is what i'm saying is that the correction this is the five wave structure from the bottom this is the five wave structure and then this first leg of the correction the second leg of the correction is going on we are about to see uh, a double top just literally shall pass just a bit uh, of this point right over here there's also possibility we can find a resistance right actually euro is mightly possible that we are going to find a double top exactly okay and then we are expecting for the prices to come down uh, and create the larger swing on the downward uh, british pound is uh, similar behavior that we're expecting on a larger structure let me delete that so wave two is yet not complete the wave two is yet not complete so this is the five wave structure this is green wave one and wave two is going on we have completed wave a and wave b is close to the completion and then wave c is expected to create a double bottom with the previous structure so a b c structure this pullback has happened quite nicely and we're expecting another lag for next few days i would say three days uh, to four uh, three to five days and, and then there is a possibility because we have already gone uh, past the previous top right over here so we will continue that we are con considering this as a correction and the price is expected to jump up somewhere around over even 1.35 ish area so we can go back to the hourly time frame on a smaller time frame and that will actually show us that we are seeing the correction right over here okay so we can use uh, equal divisions i normally use equal division we can see 
that we do not have a 3 by 8 so what we can use if we can definitely use a 9 uh, here's the structure so here you can find the support easily at 4 by 9 and we are expecting uh, that this low shall hold and we are expecting next 3-4 days of bullish um, price action and then a larger move on the downside okay so let's have a look at dxy dollar index is uh, once again uh, showing a similar pattern we can definitely look on the daily chart first and that will give us an indication what we are expecting so this is of no use right now so we can see let me delete this keep on experiment so the 5 wave structure right from the top is here so we have wave 1 and 2 on the top 0 is the start of the structure so wave 1 and 2 and then wave 3 and 4 and a 5 we have completed wave A of the correction and wave B is going on as soon as wave B is complete uh, then uh, I think we are expected to see probably bottom around 90 to 99.65 which is this bottom and as soon as that is complete we are expecting a larger swing on the upside that should go to around 10A, 107.50, 108. So let me come down. We're expecting a bearish price action first for next 3-4 days and then we're expecting for the prices to continue. Uh, let me delete that. Okay, let's have a look on the hourly time frame to see if we can uh, spot on the correction much better. And we can use the swing as well. I want to see the previous swing. Okay, this is the previous swing. Let me go back to the uh, four hourly chart or two hourly chart like we can do. So this is the two hourly chart. I wanted to see the swing. Okay, let's use the previous swing. This swing, okay? And see how much of the correction has come down. So this is exactly 25%. As you guys can see, the 25% of the previous structure, we have found a support. This is expected to, um, I mean, not break, expected to provide support this area. And we're expecting for the price next for three, four days. That means that we are expecting a little pullback probably. And as soon as the pullback happens, whenever it happens, you just wait for the pullback and our trend stays on the bearish for next three days, four days. And as soon as that is complete, we are expecting for the larger swing to carry on. But we have one more move on the bearish side. Now, the most important thing out of the analysis today analysis is gold and silver. We are going to look at gold and I have mentioned it previous as well that uh, gold is uh, affected uh, is most probably going to expect expanded flat okay we'll look at it so let's have a look at the the chart so first of all i think there was a question that um, uh, regarding what is the labeling on the larger labeling first have a look at that and then we'll come back on a smaller time frame. So uh, I believe that wave one is complete, this red one, and two is complete. And right now we are going through an extended third wave right to the top right over here. An extended third wave means that we are going to complete wave one, which is blue wave one, and wave two, and wave three, and wave four, and wave five. Once that is complete, that will complete the third wave, and that we shall expect the fourth wave and the fifth wave. So I'm expecting quite a bullish price action in the next 15 months or so in gold and silver. Uh, so on a smaller time frame though we are expecting a major major correction uh, I mean not a major major correction but a sharper price move uh, I think that is expected to create let's go ahead and see four hourly so one support is this which is the support uh, which is the price level price high of wave one and the higher support exists at 2085 I think and there's one higher at 2360 so let's have a look at four hourly time frame so this is one support the other support is this we are and i'll explain the labeling a bit in a bit as well 
So smaller time frame, we have wave one and two complete right over here. Three and wave four is a triangle, and wave five is complete right over here. That completes wave one in blue. And right now we are going through wave A is going through wave two. Wave A is complete in two. Wave B, which is a zigzag, is a complete, and wave A is a flat correction. So wave is a flat correction and this is a zigzag and we are expecting a sharper move on the downside i believe that the 2145 is a bit exaggeration we are expecting somewhere around 2280 ish that should be the good uh, price level for uh, prices to for, find support at so right now in the next few days are very important as you guys can see euro is going to be bullish and so is british pound and uh, and gold and DXY are expected to be bearish. So, but the most important thing is the distance that gold is going to cover. Uh, if it comes back to a 2360, that's quite a while. That's still uh, $210. If it comes $100 further down, that's another $100. So that makes it a $300 drop from the top within a small time frame. Uh, and it's going to be very amazing. So I'm still uh, bearish on the pattern. I believe that the pattern has yet not broken. Uh, as far as the confirmation, if you want to see the confirmation, then we can definitely use a confirmation. We can simply use the parallel channel okay here's our parallel channel and you can use that right over here okay as you guys can see that the the top that's being made is close to the middle line all right and that's i don't think so it's going to go on the higher i think and that we can use the higher point as a stop loss and then you can expect the prices to fall down once prices penetrate through the lower end there will be confirmation that we have actually seen and um, we have actually seen the start of wave c uh, right over here so this is a an amazing trading setup and uh, for bull this is a very good news uh, some people might have missed the uh, bullish run so a 300 dollar drop in, in gold uh, shall enable them to go long in gold and silver let's have a look at silver and i was gonna do some calculations uh, on silver so here is silver uh, we can see that here so i'm expecting a larger swing downward our potential target is 26 dollars for uh, 25.85 or 26 dollar for silver in next uh, couple of weeks i would say or maybe three weeks uh, and in then or in next move let's say next move is uh, on the bearish side and we can use the previous stop loss is the previous high 31.72 so this is a dollar away and then we're expecting uh, that there is a possibility that if we can break 26 dollar then the next target is 24.22 which is interesting so once again a, a major swing is expected to happen in silver on the bearish side uh, let's go back to gdx and i have taken my first option i have never traded options before but i've taken my first options and trade and that's a put call that i a put not call that's a put an option that i have bought and i'm expecting uh, gdx to be on the bearish side and and i'm expecting the potential target is on the lower area right over here so about 18 uh, 20 percent drop is expected in gdx uh, and this is wave one and wave two if you want to see the larger time frame structure uh, i will shall give you the labeling of the larger uh, quickly and then we can carry on so look at the blue wave one and two this pattern starts from over here and we are expecting that wave three is going to be an extended wave three will end happen four and five so we are in the wave one uh, and smaller wave 2 is expected so wave 2 of uh, wave 3 is expected within that extension okay wave 1 is complete within the extension and we are right now going through wave 2 and wave 3 uh, would be an interesting uh, i think because this is 3 of 3 so it'll be quite strong and gdxj has a similar structure and i wanted to show you that simply we are expecting for the prices to come down and a fine support area in this well as well so i think my yeah my position is in my options position is in gdx i hope i was able to provide some assistance wish you good luck with your trading have a good one and bye bye